Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy August! It's already August, I can't believe it. I'm really really loving those cover pages right now, but I was not ready for something autumnal yet. And I also didn't really want to do another summery one, because it's not really summer in the UK anymore, or ever. <laughs> So I just um, spoke to you guys on Instagram, on Instagram stories. Um, follow me at tncreate and tntwix if you like. And I asked you guys what I should do. And I also recently uploaded an illustration of the moon. And so many of you guys liked it and asked me for something universe themed or with the lunar faces. Yeah, and so I came up with this. This is inspired by the moon, of course, and I draw everything in pencil first. And then I just filled it in with my watercolors and I used a few blue shades and a nice golden metallic shade. This gives it a really really nice detail and it took me around 30 minutes or so and then I just had to let it dry for a couple of minutes and my bullet journal took it really really well. It wasn't too wilty and the pages were still in a really good condition. And afterwards I opted for a fake calligraphy font and that's so much easier than brush lettering. It's amazing and it doesn't really take a lot of time as well. By the way, if you're interested in any of the products that I'm using, I'm always very very strict and link everything in the info box below. So take a look over there. And yeah, I just decided to also write down the year because it looked a little bit off center. <laughs> So next up is my month at a glance spread and I just wrote August in a quite similar font and filled it in with the fine liner as well. And on the other side or on the other page I'm gonna go for my align a day spread. And just while I'm editing this video I kinda saw that I forgot my gratitude lock. Maybe I will try to mix it up and incorporate that in my daily spreads then. And next up is a little illustration that I already made on top of the page. It's a hmm, quarterish, half moonish face, and I also just took some blue shades and mixed them in with a lilac or it's it's a off-white metallic color. And then I did almost the same on the next page and wrote down a line a day. And the rest of the layout and the design of the page is super minimalistic and simple. So it doesn't really take a lot of time and I can concentrate on my headers and on my little illustrations and still manage to finish the spreads in around, I would say, five minutes. Next up, I did my habit tracker and last month I didn't really do a single or separate habit tracker for the month of July. I will also do a little review of all my July spreads later on in that video, so stay tuned. And I just went for the same font and tried to fill everything in. I tried out to do this with my Tombow Dual Brush Pen with the more delicate tip. And it didn't really work out that well because the tip is delicate but not too small. So I was not really able to get into all those edges. And it looked a little bit sloppy in the end. So I would suggest you to just choose a more smaller and more delicate fine liner or gel pen. As you can see, I went back to my fine liner when I wrote down the next title and it was my sleep lock. I'm not super, super happy how I executed this layout because I tried something different with the black line and I tried to write all the hours of the day with a white gel pen on top of the black line and it didn't really show through and yeah. It's just not really readable, I guess. So yeah, that was kind of a fail, but yeah, sometimes that happens. And because I was already done with all the spreads that I would need for the month of August, I thought maybe I should do a more minimalistic approach for a weekly spread to show you guys how I kind of try to stay on track with my weeks and my days when I don't have a lot of time. And this layout worked really, really well for me last month. And 
I'm just gonna go in and draw a lot of single boxes there and I'm gonna do one box for goals as well because I have eight and I only need seven. You could also do only one for the weekend and then you have one spare box for goals and maybe one for special tasks or the weather or something else that you need. And for decoration I only use really really swift and sloppy handwriting. And that's almost it for decoration. Next up I was trying to fill in or scribble in some of my goals and I don't have that many for the upcoming week because I just want to get shit done to be honest. And then I decided to spice it up a little and took a golden gel pen and wrote all the dates in and then I just yeah I got carried away and doodled some of those water drops and yeah I just want to check my hydration with those because it's fun you know <laughs> I just need a little bit of decoration on my bullet journal it's always the same with me then I fill in some of my tasks and to do's and yeah then I'm done Let's do a little flip through of all of those spreads. So that's my cover page. I'm so, so happy with that. I think it's my favorite cover page I have ever done. I think it's also only my third one because I never did that in the past. I really love the theme. So thank you guys for suggesting something universe or lunar themed. And my month at a glance spread is super, super easy. I only use a color code to separate work tasks or work dates and personal dates. Line a day is also the same. It's super, super easy and minimalistic. And my habit tracker and my sleep log, most of the time that's my favorite spread of all of my pages in every month. This month I'm not super keen on it, but I went back to my basic habit tracker layout, so I'm quite happy about that. And yeah, I can't wait to fill those in. It's always so much fun at the end of the day, just to take a little bit of time and to fill everything in with a nice cup of tea. <laughs> yeah, and my sleep log, you can comment down below what you think. Do you think it's a fail or not? Anyways, this is also part of the process because a lot of the time I just try out something new and it doesn't really work out and yeah, so that's always also positive. And my weekly spread is super nice, I really love it, it's minimalistic, everyone can do it, everyone has time for something like that, no excuses and yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to flip back to the weekly spread that I did in July and that was the first one I did like this and it really inspired me to do this more often. And speaking of July, let's flip back to the last month and yeah, just flip through and see what I did, what I didn't fill out, what didn't work out. Gratitude log and the line a day has a few blank spaces so that happens sometimes. Maybe I can go back and fill those out. Exercise log looks really neat, looks really nice. I went to the gym a lot, but the spread didn't really do much for me. I really need to optimize that. Sleep log worked really well as always. And then you have something that should have been a weekly spread, but I didn't really use it. So that was a fail as well. Some dailies and the weekly spread we already discussed. This is something I really want to do more in the future. It's super neat, it's super nice, it's simple, it doesn't take a lot of time. I can really recommend. Another weekly spread looks completely different, looks so much more artistic and didn't really work out because I didn't really fill it out. Because at the same time I also did those dailies and I always tend to go back to my dailies and fill those in. Yeah, that's about it. That was my bullet journal for August. I hope you guys loved it. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. It really means the world to me. And yeah, see you very, very soon. Bye bye.